Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So awesome news, Brian Singer confirmed that Mr. Sinister is going to be the villain of the next Wolverine movie. So I'm going to explain how he's a really good way to sew up Deadpool and Cable along with the Dark Phoenix, like the Phoenix Saga arc that they're getting ready to do in the movies. So it's all connected. Most of you have probably heard by now that Brian Singer confirmed the post credit scene from X-Men Apocalypse on the commentary where he said Mr. Sinister, who was name dropped as the Essex Corporation, as in Nathaniel Essex, the true name of Mr. Sinister, would be appearing in the next Wolverine movie. Now we're all just calling it Wolverine 3, but they're really doing an old man Logan type thing where it's an older version of Wolverine later in the timeline, Patrick Stewart cameos, so you can imagine how much later in the timeline it is. I don't know how close they'll stick to old man Logan in the comics, but it was a dark, dark story. Logan, because of his X-gene abilities, like his natural abilities to heal tissue, he just outlives everyone. Mr. Sinister is another one of those types of people who can regenerate himself. He can regenerate himself from a single drop of blood. So his abilities are even more powerful than Wolverine's. So it would make sense that in the distant future, if somebody hadn't vaporized him, Mr. Sinister would still be around. But the really cool thing, back to that post credit scene. So what happened? The Essex Corporation stole samples of Wolverine's blood, and one of them said 23 on it. X-23 is a clone of Wolverine, a female clone of Wolverine, who becomes the new Wolverine in the comics. Marvel did some really crazy stuff with the Wolverine character. They killed him off, then they brought him back. The current version of Logan in the comics is the old man Logan character, who exists simultaneously with the young version of Wolverine, who's fighting with the Avengers. So getting meta for a second, Hugh Jackman has been playing Wolverine now for almost 20 years, and most of that time has been spent shirtless. So he's just basically said that he's getting really tired. He would like to transition away from the role eventually. So this is his final Wolverine movie, final solo movie, not final appearance as Wolverine, just final solo movie. So I think that he'll appear in the next X-Men movie, but what they might try to do, instead of just recasting a version of Logan, they might try to introduce the X-23 character, she'll take the day-to-day -day role with the X-Men and like the big team-up X-Men movies. And then if they want to do another Wolverine solo film, they could always do a Wolverine team-up film where old man Logan teams up with young female Logan. They have a relatively decent relationship in the comics. There have been times when they butt heads. You have to remember that she is a clone of Logan, so she gets a lot of his personality traits, but they've tried to have a little bit of fun with the way they write her in the comics right now. So if you read the current Marvel comics right now, you'll get a taste for what she's like. She's pretty fun. But in the movies, like the big surprise is that I kind of thought that Mr. Sinister would be the big villain of the next X-Men movie because it seems like they're transitioning into a Dark Phoenix arc, which I think is a pretty safe bet for them. You develop the Jean Grey character, you just spread that over the course of the next couple movies. Like you don't want to blow your Phoenix wad into one single movie. That could be Fox's X-Men version of Infinity War doing like the Dark Phoenix arc where she fully becomes the Phoenix in the final film. But if they were going to do that, it'd be way down the road. What about Deadpool though? Deadpool had so much Hugh Jackman in his movie without actually having Hugh Jackman in it. It was hilarious. Now Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman are really great friends in real life and they're both Fox properties. So it was really easy for them to do that stuff in that Deadpool movie. I think the Wolverine movie is going to be way more serious, so I don't know how much of Deadpool we'd see in it, but there might be like a few nods to Deadpool. They might use Deadpool to promote the movie, but we're talking about characters that are super long-lived just because they regenerate their tissue. Deadpool is one of the other big characters of the Marvel Universe that just regenerates himself instantly. But aside from Old Man Logan, Mr. Sinister stuff, we don't know too much about what's going to happen in the movie. Presumably it'll be a nice bookend for the Wolverine character, but make no mistake, as long as Hugh Jackman has a good relationship with the people at Box, with Brian Singer and his team and the other actors, he will probably always come back for little bits. It's just that the Wolverine character won't be a really huge deal if he transitions away and they don't introduce X-23. So let me know in the comments, if Hugh Jackman is not going to be Wolverine anymore in the X-Men movies, do you think they're going to try and transition to X-23 with that X-23 Mr. Sinister post credit scene from Apocalypse? But if you don't know a lot about Mr. Sinister, he's basically like a geneticist in the Marvel Universe. That's kind of what he does. Like he's just obsessed with perfection. 
So eventually, like, there are a couple storylines where he just completely clones himself into the Marvel Universe. It's like one of those Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe stories where it kind of exists off by itself, like it's not canon to the main series. But for a long time in the comics, like, a big part of the backbone of his backstory is being obsessed with Scott Summers' bloodline, with Cyclops' bloodline. Like, he first showed up in 1891 in Cross Paths with Scott Summers' ancestor, Daniel Summers, then runs afoul of Apocalypse, gets changed into his Mr. Sinister form that you see today. That came as a result of his encounter with Apocalypse. And then, you know, later, obviously, there's a lot of X Factor, a lot of stuff in the 90s that happened with Apocalypse and the X-Men. Mr. Sinister is there through it all. And even in the continuity of the X-Men films, he was a Nazi briefly. Like, he just shows up through history at all these big conflicts. So it wouldn't be too hard for them to retcon him into the backstory of the X-Men films. But obviously, the comics get way more complicated. There's way more story there for Mr. Sinister than they could ever do in the movies. So I think that they'll just pick and choose things where, one, he's trying to clone Wolverine because that actually did happen in the comics. And then he hears about Jean Grey, learns about the Phoenix Force, so that in later movies, if he shows up in the main X-Men movies, he could be more obsessed with that stuff. So it's all about breeding bloodlines, certain traits in and out with him. So he experiments a lot with people throughout the ages. Really, I don't know how they're going to work Mr. Sinister into Apocalypse's backstory in the movies, so they might have to sidestep some of that. But in the comics, one of the reasons why he's so obsessed with Scott Summers is because he believes that he will give birth, like he'll lead to a mutant powerful enough to destroy Apocalypse, who he then later discovers is Nathaniel Summers, a.k.a. Cable. So already the wheels in your mind are turning and you're like, oh wait, this might be a way to cross over with the Deadpool sequel because they're doing Cable in Deadpool too. So you see how it's all connected. But the Deadpool movie exists in this really like questionable time frame. They've kind of tried to keep it as its separate thing, but they might weave it in later on. Like Brian Singer was saying, the tone of Deadpool makes it really hard to cross over, but it is connected to the X-Men films. Mr. Sinister is just a really easy way to tie that all up together. So you guys can let me know, like, do you feel like they're going to turn Mr. Sinister into a much bigger thing in the X-Men continuity? I feel like they have to, but it'll start off with this Wolverine movie. And just a heads up too, that movie's dropping in March, so I'm expecting the first trailer to drop in the next couple of months. We should actually see it pretty soon. If you didn't know, they've already shot the Wolverine movie. But get hyped for Mr. Sinister, get hyped for X-23 things. What was probably going to happen next is, is I'm going to do a Punisher Season 1 video. They just announced the first villain, like the first big villain that they've cast, but they won't be shooting that till early next year. So just expect to hear about them casting more characters throughout the rest of this year as they roll through Luke Cage, Iron Fist stuff. And we actually might get some more Iron Fist footage at New York Comic Con, which is like the first weekend in October. So lots of really cool Marvel stuff coming up real soon. While you guys wait for that to post, you can click here for a new Luke Cage that just dropped. And you can click here for Iron Man 4 Marvel Hype. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.